What up, y'all? Barbershop Talk with JT the Barber. Owning a barbershop. The ins, the outs, the pros, the cons. I think there's a big misconception in the barber industry that owning a barbershop is the pinnacle. That's the top. And I disagree with that, and I'll tell you why. In today's day and age, there's many different routes, avenues that you can take in which reaching a pinnacle or high levels in the barber industry or community. You can become a content creator and make a lot of money through streaming, um, through monetization, through various different platforms. You can drop a product and simply be a renter and make a lot of money just by selling that product. The thing that people need to understand is once you sign those documents, those papers, which there's a lot of papers that you need to do and sign to become a shop owner. Once you sign those papers, you're now held liable for a lot more responsibilities than you had just being a renter. I think there's also a big misconception that once you open a barbershop, you're going to be a successful barbershop, and that is false. There's a lot of things, moving components, um, marketing, advertising, um, work that you have to do within the community, a lot of things that you have to do to become a successful barbershop. I think it's quite greedy for people to just open a shop so they can have renters, so they can pay the shop owner money and they don't put any groundwork in marketing, advertising within the community for their shop so that that shop can get busy. So again, there's a lot of moving components when it comes to becoming a shop owner. I used to be a renter for about six and a half years, and then I went and opened my shop, and I've had it for a little over five years. And let me tell you, it's much more easy going being a renter. There's nothing wrong with just being a renter than to open a barbershop. The amount of responsibilities between a renter and a shop owner is night and day. As a renter, all you have to do is show up, take care of your clients, go home. As a shop owner, you're now held responsible and liable for anything that happens. Something breaks, you have to fix it. Um, micromanaging, all right, we got 13 barbers. Micromanaging is not fun, it's not easy. Um, what else? All the yearly bills that you have to pay, reoccurring bills that you have to pay, you have to be on top of that. Your uh, franchise state tax fee, your LLC, um, not to mention taxes for both individual and business. Instead of paying booth rent, which is, I don't know, anywhere from $500 to, uh, I think the most I've heard is $1,500 for barbershops. Instead of paying that, now you're paying uh, rent, which is, I don't know, $3,500 to, I've heard, $10,000 for that's just for rent. That's not including PG&E. That's not including Comcast. That's not including your towel service. That is not including your, again, your yearly expenses for licenses and things of that nature. That's not including your, I do a monthly uh, haul at Costco. That's not including, I mean, there's, I can keep going. I think those that will be good candidates to be a shop owner are the ones that do extra. What do I mean by that? Those that stay late, those that are greeting walk-ins, those that have communication within the shop, trying to make sure that everyone's taken care of, those that are sweeping after every haircut, those that are staying late, those that have a cleanly SMA, those that care for the shop. Those are the people that are good candidates for being a shop owner. And even then, again, you don't want to just open a shop just to open a shop. If you're opening a shop to make extra income, I'm going to be very transparent with everyone, those that are thinking of opening a barbershop. Owning a barbershop at the end of the day is not as profitable as it may seem. I make most of my earnings sitting behind the chair, and that's why I still cut six days a week. The biggest reason that I personally decided to open a barbershop with my business partner, Shane, 
um, is because I wanted to personally create a creative hub, a creative environment for barbers to grow and elevate. Also adding, I wanted to create opportunity for people to take initiative in utilizing the shop that we have created to elevate their craft, to elevate their social media presence, and furthermore, as an opportunity to take care of their loved ones, their families, and things of that nature. So for those that are thinking about opening a shop, make sure to think twice about it, because again, it's gonna be a lot more responsibilities that you're now held liable for. And once you sign that five-year lease, you're now held liable to pay that rent for five years. If you have any further questions, feel free to DM me. Peace.